Now, what is the problem here? That they will not refresh? Doesn't update. It doesn't update. I put it here, it updated the Google Sheet, but even if I refresh this report, it doesn't update my scorecard connected to Google Sheet. And this one here goes up and down, but yeah, we can't fix it some like this. So this is a still 7654. The reason, data freshness. So when we look at our Google Sheet data sources, we know if we remember that each data source has a data freshness set. It means that within that time frame, within in this case, within 15 minutes, if the same date is requested by the report from the data source, data studio doesn't go to data studio knocking to the data source knocking for no dates, right? It says, okay, I already know it. I already asked this question two minutes ago. I'm not going to ask again. It's this number and I'm calling it a day, right? It is the caching version, unless something changes in the request. You request it for another date range, you request another, you apply a fill set or something. Then the data studio doesn't know the answer to the new question. So it needs to go back, knock the door and get the date. But for a Google Sheet, the soonest, the shortest time for data freshness that I can set is 15 minutes. Ideally, I wanted one second, right? I wanted it not to have any caching at all so that when I enter that one, I refresh the report, everything is opted. But I was out of Then I was thinking, okay, so what is a data source with a more flexible data freshness? BigQuery data sources, they allow us to have a data freshness of as short as one minute, not even one second, but one minute, which is a little bit better. That's why this one, the blended parameter, which is connected to BigQuery data set, as I was talking, it got updated, but even right now, because 15 minutes has not passed, the Google Sheet one is still the same. The one kind of powered by BigQuery has been updated already. Let's see how did I do that? Because I'm writing to a Google Sheet. I'm not writing to a BigQuery. How can I write to a Google Sheet, but read from BigQuery? How can I write to a Google Sheet, read from BigQuery? It is possible. It is possible, but I didn't do that. Technically, you can write to Google Sheet. You can define your Google Sheet as an external data source in BigQuery. We saw that in the BigQuery hands-on demo session. So if you don't know how to do that, how to define a Google Sheet as an external BigQuery data set, you can rewatch that session. And then it would be a BigQuery table. And whenever you connect to that BigQuery table and query that, it will read the most recent data from the Google Sheet. But again, it's one minute. Another thing that I found out when I was trying, which is nice, is about data blend. So when, th this is important, I need your attention. When we blend data sources together, so we blend from Google Analytics, we blend from Google Sheets, we blend from BigQuery, we blend from somewhere else, like all three, four, five data sources together. The data freshness for the blended data source is one that satisfies all of them. So it's, it's enough for having one BigQuery data set in a blended data source with one minute data freshness for the whole blended data source to have to recalculate every one, to have to grab new data, fresh data every one minute, overriding the data freshness for all of us. So for this, I created a dummy BigQuery connection. So this one is BigQuery fake number. Let's take a look at it. Number, the connector type is BigQuery, and I'm actually not even reading data from any BigQuery table. I wrote a kind of fake query, select Unix milliseconds, so milliseconds from 1970, 1st of January, of current date. This was my unsuccessful attempt of not even having that one minute caching big query, but yeah, it figured out and it didn't cooperate. But I can even put here, select 10 as a number, right? Not even from any table. Select 10 as number, limit one, and that's it. Technically, it's a BigQuery data source. Data so it doesn't know that. And then, because it's a BigQuery data connector, even if you have a, no, you have to have a BigQuery account, but you don't have to have a table. You can set the data freshness 
and you don't see one minute, you have to click on custom. And then here you can put one minute or one hour, etc. So one minute is the shortest amount of time to set data freshness and done. Now in the blended data source in this one, I blended these two guys together. The fake number from BigQuery and the promise. But because BigQuery needs to be refreshed every minute, this one will be refreshed every minute. So if we change it to some pause, enter, refresh, nothing happens. But a minute later, this one gets updated and anything connected to this one gets updated. But this one needs 15 minutes to. Any ideas, any questions, any feedback? A lot of work to get one parameter. A lot of work to get one parameter to say. Data Studio is one way in that case, in the sense that it cannot write to any external data source. This is as close as being able to write to an external data source. But again, it's not real time, which is a shame. So if it was real time, right now, if I want to use it in any production environment, I have to talk with the client and tell them that, yeah, if you put something here, you have to wait a minute. It's not the best of experience, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, if it's absolutely necessary, so you have a CFO, they want to put their forecasting numbers. They don't want to enter it any time that they access the report. You can just tell them that, yeah, okay, just put their forecasting numbers, wait a minute, grab some coffee, and then they will be there for you next week or next month when you come back. That was embedding content. If there's no questions about embedding content, I can start talking about extraction.